In this section, we're going to be talking about supervised gradient boosting in scikit-learn. We are going to cover the operation of the gradient boosting classification algorithm, look at an example problem, look at data preparation and processing, look at implementing gradient boosting classification, and look at implementing hyperparameter fitting and improving performance. So now we're going to look at the operation of the gradient boosting classification algorithm. We aim to understand the principle of operation behind gradient boosting classification, understand decision trees. So what does the gradient boosting classification algorithm do? It takes a set of labeled input points in a variable space, divides the variable space using decision trees, and then it sums these different decision trees over the variable space to amplify repeated results. A decision tree is a way of visualizing the application of a series of constraints to the system. For instance, we might, in this case, if we have a variable x, we say if x is less than 1, take this node, and if it isn't, take this node. If x is less than 1 and greater than 0, take this node. If it's less than 1 and less than 0, take this node. You can see how we might sequentially apply decision trees to arrive at a solution. Okay, so we take a set of input points in a variable space. In this case, we have a red group and a blue group. The color represents the label, and these are in variable 1 and variable 2. Okay, we're going to first apply a decision tree to the space to divide the space up. So the first decision tree we're going to use is going to take a key value in variable 2. And if it's greater than that value, give it one set. And if it's less than that value, give it the other set. Pretty straightforward so far. In the next step, we might apply a second decision tree. So in this case, it actually has two constraints. We say if it's less than a certain value in variable 2, then greater than a certain value in variable 1, make it blue. Otherwise, make it red. So then we may apply another decision tree. This is simply the inverse. So if it's greater than a certain value in variable 2 and less than a certain value in variable 1, make it red. Now, in the next step, we see the true value of this because when we sum those three decision trees, we see in this case, they cancel to 0. In this case, we get blue reinforcing twice. And in this case, we get red reinforcing twice. So we've ended up with a system which works very well for this tie example where red isn't quite sure where blue is and we've decreased the prediction probability in the cases where we don't have any data. Now in reality something wouldn't work quite as perfectly in cancel to zero but in a lot of cases it would diminish the chance of predicting a value in that area which is still a very useful thing to do. So gradient boosting divides a space using an ensemble of decision trees we hope to understand the principal operation behind the gradient boosting classification algorithm. Hopefully you've understood that. And as well, being able to understand decision trees.